2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. I invite you into a moment of silence. God's deep desire is to reconcile all relationships with each other and creation. We actively strive to experience the fullness of God through radical welcome, diversity, justice, compassion, peacemaking, advocacy, and healing. Sarah, how have you seen reconciliation uh, at work across our Senate? The the immediate response I get comes from a congregational setting um, and it's a congregation that I served which is part of uh, uh, St. Luke's in Charlotte part of their um, Room in the Inn project which is, is housing for, for homeless folks especially in the coldest times of the, the year and he won't mind me telling this the man who ran that um, is an ex-con he was a violent criminal um, an amazing man and I saw his name is Kevin and I was helping with room in the end just doing whatever he needed me to do and um, there was a woman there who had terrible feet because that's an issue with homeless people um, and she couldn't get her shoes off and on and I looked over and there was Kevin right this oh, if you looked at him you would say this hardened criminal being radically hospitable to this woman and he was on his knees. <laughs> I'm not sure whether he was untying or retying her shoes. Um, and he, I don't, I don't, I'm not real sure. Re uh, reconciliation can be so broad a word, but if we talk about radical welcome and radical hospitality and um, uh, being aware that when we are together, um, we are more faithful and most faithful. Uh, and if one step is to kneel in front of somebody in an unexpected way, then I think that is a beautiful image of reconciliation. Bishop Smith, what do you love about the word reconciliation? Uh, it's my favorite word, biblically probably, uh, reconciliation. When I was in first year of seminary taking systematic theology from Robert Jensen, uh, somebody said, so what do you think heaven is, Dr. Jensen? And he said, well, since life is about relationship from the beginning of Genesis, relationship with God and relationship with each other, um, then what heaven has to be is the perfect reconciliation of all relationships, and that's why the church is working toward reconciliation now, because it's where we're all headed either way. Tammy, what does it mean for you? For me, the word that comes to mind alongside reconciliation deals with our youth. I've spent the majority of my time with, working with young people, and we just released the 2021 ELCA Youth Gathering theme of Boundless God Beyond Measure. I think our youth are waiting for us to stop putting up boundaries and to embrace everyone, to welcome everyone, and when we do that, what a beautiful church it's going to be. So why, why this value in our synod? What does it matter for our work together? Right. Um, it matters immensely for our work together, and of course our synod came up with these core values with over 700 people uh, that 
because of our brokenness, if the purpose of life is to be in relationship and if the goal of all creation is reconciliation, uh, then that's what we need to be about, particularly as we define it with working toward justice, working toward more diversity in the many, many iterations of privilege that are mine and ours, largely in this church. Uh, it, it clearly is the prophetic piece of what we're called to do and the Jesus piece of what we're called to do, who is always trying to reconcile the world to himself. What broken relationships in our world are weighing on your heart today? What does it mean for you to be called into the ministry of reconciliation to be ambassadors of Christ? In which of these areas might God be asking your congregation to consider reconciliation? Radical welcome, diversity, justice, compassion, peacemaking, advocacy, and healing, and why?
Lord, make us an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.